हेलो वन वेलकम टू पार्ट टू हंड्रेड थर्टी फोर ऑफ एडवांस ई कॉम सीरीज इन लारावल एट सो वी विल गुन टू रिव्यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अवर पॉइंट्स सी वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द टेक्स सी जी एस टी पॉइंट सो आई कैन मूव इट टू द डन पॉइंट्स ओके सो दीज आर द डन पॉइंट्स वी आर नाउ एट द क्लोज ऑफ दिस लारावल ई कॉमर्स सीरीज इन लारावल एट सो ओनली फ्यू पॉइंट्स आर लेफ्ट एंड सी सी के एडिटर एंड इंटीग्रेटेड टेक्स एडिटर आर वन एंड द सेम थिंग सो वी कैन रिमूव दिस पॉइंट एंड सी इंटीग्रेटेड टेक्स एडिटर वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन दिस वीडियो एंड सी बार कोड के ओवर कोड आई एम गोइंग टू चेक इन एडमी पैनल दिस वन बार कोड एंड के ओवर कोड दैट मे बी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दिस वन सो वी आर गोइंग टू चेक इन एडमी पैनल see here uh, if uh, we are having this barcode and qr code uh, in invoices here is our invoice see these are these are the barcode and qr code that uh, uh, we want to show with invoices so this point is already done so this one also we can move to this done point and now we are going to do the integrated risk test auditor see laravel e-commerce api For Laravel e-commerce API, follow the another series. Okay, so uh, this one I can move to the done point, and you need to follow the Laravel API series for it. Okay, so uh, we used to uh, add videos on it, and uh, if someone don't know, then uh, you can search my channel, and you can search the playlist there, uh, YouTube uh, dot com. Stack developers. Okay, so I will tell once that uh, where it is uh, here. See, you can go scroll down and you can see the Laravel API series. Okay, in this series we are going to cover. We are uh, we have done also many uh, e-commerce APIs, and we will continue to do so. So you can watch this series. Okay, so Laravel e-commerce APIs will be covered there. so in this video we are going to integrate risk test editor uh, that is available uh, with our template as well and we are going to uh, add this risk test editor uh, for uh, here we are going to add in products and categories module in products we are going to add like uh, while uh, at the time of add or edit product we are going to add for the product description we can also add for the wash care okay for all test area we can add the rich test editor and the purpose of adding of integrating rich test editor uh, is to uh, is to add some of the html elements like if we want to make our test bold if we want to give the color to our test if we want to highlight our test if we want to uh do some kind of these html uh, kind of things we want to highlight we want to do the html formatting with our test okay so for that purpose uh, we are going to use the editor and so we are going to uh, integrate uh, editor in this video and see the remaining points we are going to cover in laravel 9 series we are going to start the laravel 9 series Uh, my next video is on the laravel 9 series okay so laravel 9 is recently launched and uh, we are ready to do that laravel 9 multi vendor e-commerce website so don't forget to watch that okay so uh, so in that series we are going to cover these remaining points okay so in this video uh, we are going to do this one integrate rich test editor uh, so uh, i'm going to uh add this one from our template okay so in the beginning of the series we know that we have got the template admin lte template okay so you can search your admin lte template and you can simply open that template uh, here i'm going to search for my admin lte template where it is uh, where it is here it is okay so i can search for the template i can go there i can open index.html and here i can uh, go 
I need to check in forms, in forms, advanced elements, and uh, somewhere. Uh, okay, it's not here. General editor, editor is here. Okay, so this is the editor that we want to integrate uh, for our uh, Laravel e-commerce website. Okay, so I will open this file here, editors.html from uh, pages forms in uh, that is located in our template so i will simply will check in pages forms and this is the editor file okay so uh, we have used this summer node package uh, for the test area you can see its css is located here and its js also is located at the end if you will go down and you can check its summer node js also there and it is for the test area it is for the test area okay so uh, we are going to do this uh, we are going to add its css and js in our file there front layout file we will open the front layout and here in the beginning we are going to add its css file okay so its css is some or not css uh, what i will do i will just uh, copy one of the css like i can, can simply copy this one and uh, we'll copy the css from here at the top okay it is located at the tops this one so i will add this path in css here uh, yeah it is fine i can just simply add its path here okay so if you want to add the comment you can also add this comment here some or not so in the same way we are going to add its js file as well uh, so i can simply use this one and this and here also i can simply search this some or not here okay so this one this file uh, we are going to add uh, along with this one plugins path and this one and uh, we are going to add this one here fine uh, this one is not required and here also we can add some or not and also we are required to add this script that will uh, add the summer not uh, summer not to the test area okay so how it is fine so these things you need to do see summer not js and css located under summer notes uh, plugin summer not folder you can check in your folder here uh, we are uh, already having it uh, here in you can go inside the public then uh, inside public uh, there is the plugins folder then summer not you can check we have already copied at the beginning of this series summer not and then you can see it is located at js as well as css file here okay so all the files are located here okay so now uh, we need to open uh, that uh, add edit product update file add edit product okay so here we are going to uh, open the test area for the test area uh, we will add the class for all the test area we will add the test area class okay uh, wherever test area is used we will just add the class test area okay only just class we are required to add and that's it okay so uh, here test area is not required only for two uh, for the description as well as the what's here we have added the test area i will refresh now and you can see the editor has come up here okay in for both product description and watch here you can see editor is integrated okay so you can add some content uh, to the current product we can add uh, some contact we can update see we are going to update this contact uh, uh, this content here 
uh, we will highlight blue casual t-shirt here like this okay and you can even if you want to change the color uh, you can show like this okay uh, you can uh, use the another field as well as per your choice here we can give it like this you can in you know, someone like this so here also we will add something uh, this is the text HTML. okay so here I'm going to make it bold I can change its font as well like this one so I can simply submit and we'll check now that our changes are saved here you can see our changes are saved here okay so we need to check uh, at the front end I will open that product uh, with the ID one this is the product uh, so see here HTML is coming uh, because uh, we need to update um, its detail page we need to update its tags uh, we will go there uh, here I'm going to check where we are using the description see this Laravel tags will not work uh, PHP tag will work here so we are going to replace this tag with the PHP and then we are going to check once again see I'm going to refresh and here you can see this is the cotton blue casual t-shirt it is coming in the same way like we have added here you can see we are getting the content like this okay so here we have added the spaces as well so that's why it is coming like this otherwise it is not required we will just simply uh, make it like this and submit here we are going to refresh and you can see it is coming like this okay so uh, you can able to update as per your requirement okay uh, okay so uh, see <coughs> we can uh, also uh, check its source code here okay so I'm going to enlarge it okay so here in the source code we can remove and add the HTML content as well if we if you want okay so like if I don't require uh, this HTML content then I can remove from here as well okay so you can see we can also update the content from here from the HTML itself see I have removed everything and now if I will do like this see it will show like this okay and if I just want to highlight this one and nothing else like this okay and nothing else I want to update then submit then you can check here refresh as you can see now only this part is highlighted and rest of the uh, content remain the same so in the same way uh, we will update for wash care as well this is the wash care and for wash care as well we are going to use this PHP tag instead of the uh, Laravel tag okay we are going to use this PHP tags for the wash care as well okay so here see here now see the font here okay it has been changed okay you can see it is not the simple font and we have used we have used the editor to update this font so like this you can use the editor uh, at the back end at the enemy panel to show the different fonts different style uh, in colors also okay you can change the formatting uh, with the help of editor okay so we can also use this editor uh, to update the description here for the categories if sometime you want to dis uh, display the description at the front end so here also we can apply the editor in add edit category page we can apply here as well we can search for test area here is our test area and here simply uh, we will add the class for the test area test area class and here we are going to refresh and you can see editor has come up here as well okay so here also we can use the editor uh, we can change the font style everything we can change okay so 
like this okay you can change reset to default option is also here okay so I am not so good in using but uh, uh, more you are going to uh, you can experiment with these things okay once you will experiment then uh, then you will find it easier to use okay so I will update this one only and okay so I am going to check it's updated see it's updated okay so you can try this editor at your end uh, you can simply add the editor editor is always provided with the admin panel template so you can simply add that editor in any of the template you are using at like admin LTE template we are using if we are using we have used that matrix admin template in basic e-commerce series and in Laravel 9 we are going to uh, use the new admin template in that one also we will get the editor okay so editor is there in every uh, in every admin template just you need to use it okay so now this point is also we have done okay so only the pending points are that trade services and scheduling also we are going to cover these points in uh, in laravel 9 series okay we will cover in laravel 9 series okay that we have uh, we are going to start now my next video is on laravel 9 multi vendor e-commerce website so don't forget to uh, uh, don't forget that video we are going to uh, see that what's new in laravel 9 we are going to make the website like amazon we will make the multi vendor e-commerce website so uh, that we are going to start next okay so stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye